Doctor, you talk about uh, the door that has to be open to let those chelators out. Can you explain yeah. what that is and what yeah. people need to know? So, uh, and, you know, there's segueing from, you know, having the doors open and uh, the use of chelators. So the door, when I talked about the glutathione system, I said you need glutathione, you need glutathione as transferase, and you need the multidrug resistance transporter. That is the door. That's the door that's going to take it from the cell to the blood, from the blood to the liver, from the liver to the intestines. There's doors in the kidneys that take it uh, after it's filtered, dump it into, uh, into the urine. If these doors aren't open, nothing's going to get out. And then what happens is the whole system backs up and even the enzymes in the cell start shutting down. Because what's the point of linking mercury onto glutathione if it's not going to get out? Mm. So the whole thing becomes shut down. And then you're left you know, with, all this, with all this toxicity in the cell and you've got all this inflammation going on. And it is in fact inflammation, uh, especially inflammation in the gut, that's shutting these doors. And so that's really what we want to do is open up all these transport routes out. And uh, I even use the, uh, what are called the, the homeopathic drainage remedies from uh, German biological me uh, medicine. And those are for opening uh, more, more ill-defined doors. It's more for the extracellular matrix so that it can start to drain. So once you get the body naturally able to start releasing these things, it can recover real well. But if you try to force the system by using the chelators when the body's all locked up, you're just going to cause more problems. And one of the other things the chelators can do is they're nephrotoxic and they're hepatotoxic. So they're toxic to you and they can actually lower the robustness of that system. Remember I said what I want to do is open up the doors and open up the glutathione system and boost the glutathione system. And that number one makes the mercury and the other metals spill out. Number two makes you more resistant to it. Now, if you're just going in with chelators, even if you manage to get more out through the kidneys, the body may actually get more sensitive to what's left over because the glutathione system is also trying to get rid of these chelators, which are toxic to it. And so uh, I think some people get into a squeeze the sponge mentality, I call it where they're like, if we just get a little bit more out, you'll start feeling better because they're going through these rounds of chelation. Instead of getting better, they're getting worse. Mm -hmm. Because that system is going down, 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 even if you're getting some of the metal out. So I think there's a lot of traps that people fall into in metal toxicity. And don't get me wrong, a lot of people do have good success using the chelators, but I think these are people who had a fairly robust system and just had very high levels where they, it was getting to an acute toxicity. So you drain them down and now they're starting to feel better. Mm -hmm. Or some of the doctors are just very good at supporting the whole system while they do, uh, while they use the chelators as well.